Jameson, I thought it'd be so fun to do like a wallpaper feature wall. No, I hate that. Okay. And when I say recently, I mean like this morning I finished out his room. I think that is him at the door. No, that is. Okay. What is it, mommy? Come in here. Okay. Hello, good morning everybody. So today I'm gonna to be doing, if you haven't guessed already, Archie's full room tour. We recently completed Archie's bedroom. Even though I am a true believer that a room is never finished, but it's to a point where I feel like it's got enough of him in it. So obviously, originally this room was just a blank canvas. We went with a really basic white wall. Um, and then we went with a really basic gray, easy to maintain sisal carpet. I liked the fact that the gray is sort of, it's not as easy to stain as what white would be, but it's still nice and light and airy and it can be styled in so many different ways. Not long after we moved in, we did have Archie's birthday and we got him this little side cabinet to go next to his bed that he could put all of his special collection-y type things in. We also did add some shelves in onto the wall just so he could store his books and maybe show off some of his dinosaurs, which he is utterly obsessed with. So, you know, aside from the bed, bedding, that little cabinet, you know, his teddy bear, a few little trinkets and his shelves, that was pretty much all we had. So this video is gonna backtrack a little bit. We're gonna jump back to just after Archie's birthday where we decided to sort of do his room up a little bit as a bit of a birthday surprise. So touch base soon. Good morning, everyone. So it's currently about 9.30 a.m. and I'm just waiting for the wallpaper to come out. Hang on, I might come and sit down over here so I can chat to you guys. It was Archie's birthday about a week ago and among all of the little presents that he got, some of the things included artwork for his bedroom. He got lots of books and things which are beautiful books to read but also nice to display. He got a few other things that would all be great for his room and each year we do try and get them a good mix of like the things that they want and then like a couple of things that they could have in their room, a couple of books and clothes and things like that. And so as a little bonus surprise, James and I thought it'd be so fun to do like a wallpapered feature wall for Archie in his room and then he'd be able to come home from school and be surprised with it. I don't really know how long it's going to take, but the guy said that he is going to come quite early and that it shouldn't take too long. So I'm hoping that in the remaining time that's left over, I can just sort of assemble all of the other items that we have in place for him to like get the full picture when he gets home. But even if he doesn't, I think he's going to be stoked by the wallpaper anyway. So he said that he's going to arrive at about 9.30. I thought I just heard a car coming up. That might be him now. This is the bedroom wall currently. Like nothing on it is just a plain white wall. And this is just his bed currently. It's all very plain, his bedside table. This is one that he got for his birthday last year. And we've just got his favorite teddy bear, which he's had from birth on the top. He's got his sort of beigey colored quilt cover. And then he's got his sleeping bag just sitting on the end there. Okay, so obviously it's all very plain at the moment. I think that is him at the door. No, that is. Okay, so obviously, yeah, all very plain, but I'm very much looking forward to adding like a whole lot of his character into it. See you soon. Ah! Okay, so, oh yes, this background. Oh, I'm obsessed. Now that that wallpaper has gone up, that only took about an hour, which is awesome. Like, it was really interesting to see the way that he did it because it, he, like, he, he said that a lot of their clients do do it by themselves, but I wanted it to be right for you guys and for you guys to see exactly how they do it. So if you wanted to do it yourself, you'd know how to install it without having any mistakes or how to like foolproof it, I guess. But it was fairly simple the way that he did it. Like I thought it was gonna be like a paper, but it's it's not at all. It's like a fabric, like a wallpaper. And it had the ittiest bittiest bit of stretch to it. So it gives you, a, it has more give than what a paper wallpaper would. It was so strong. Like 
I was like, aren't you worried about tearing it? And he was like, no, 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 you can't tear this stuff. So it's so foolproof. And like, if you get a bubble or a mistake, you just lift it up and put it back down. And you can just keep doing that. Like it stays so sticky. I was even worried about creasing at the beginning, but I saw that when he sort of pulled it back to reposition it, it got quite crinkled in that process. But as he smoothed it back down again, it just went flat. So it was a really cool product to work with. And then in terms of his like lining up and everything, there's like um, a one centimeter or 10 mil overlap. And so all he had to do was sort of mark that out with a ruler and some pieces of tape to just make sure that each of the rows were exact, but it didn't take him long at all. And I'm really happy with the result, obviously. Anyway, moving on. Um, so the other things that I have to go up in this room, I really wanted to surprise Archie with it this afternoon, but the downside to that is that I can't put these shelves back up until tomorrow. He said like, you could put them up, but you probably want to wait like a day. And I don't want to do anything that's going to pull on the wallpaper while it's still like setting in. Um, so I think I will give it the 24 hours just to make sure that we don't have any any mistakes or any pulls as a result of me being too eager. So I'm gonna leave the shelves down for now and I might just show you guys the other things that I have to put up and then I might just get started putting them up and he can just have everything except the shelves up. Cross fingers, hopefully. All right, <clears throat> so um, the first thing is this, I don't know if you can see it, I might have to get a separate shot of it. Oh, I love this thing. I know it looks like a big, like random fluffy one but it's actually like a flat and round floor pillow that I've filled with beanbag beans so it does look quite squishy and comfy and the reason why I really wanted a velvet is because not only does it look classy but because it the light reflects off it it kind of has like a moon effect if that makes sense because it I don't know maybe I'm crazy but it reminds me of a moon and this room is not themed as such but it's kind of themed like we're, we're doing we're going a bit spacey he's a big like he loves adventure and he loves studying things like dinosaurs and space is a new thing that he's interested in so I wanted to try and bring a lot of those elements into his room and make it very him next I've got this rug which I haven't actually unwrapped yet but I got this from Target I think it was about $45 next we have it is a custom star mat that has along the top, it's got Archie's name. His name is not actually Bear, but we have always called him Archie Bear. It says, he's nothing you'd expect and everything you want, which is a cool quote I saw recently about a Gemini man, which is so true. Archie is very, very much that. And then it says South, Brinset, South Brisbane, Queensland, Australia, 2nd of June, 2013, 6, 17 a.m. And then it's got the coordinates. So that's exactly what the sky looked like at the moment he was born, if we had have stepped outside the hospital, which I think is really sweet. And it also gives him the opportunity to have a look at all of the constellations and get to learn about them and everything, which is something that he really loves. This is just his little Gemini sign, which was from Brittany and he got this for Christmas, I think it was. I thought that that could hang next to his poster up on the wall. I'm gonna have it on the opposite wall. So he's got something beside his bed to decorate that wall as well. So in addition to that, I have, <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna be able to show you this in this shot. I'll have to get a full shot of it. It's like this canopy from a brand called Numero 74. It does a lot of like linen-y style kitties bedroom decor products. And I'm gonna use that in the corner, this corner just here. Um, with the bean bag to create like a little reading corner because Archie is quite the good little reader. And then over the top, um, I've got a little packet of twinkle lights that I'm gonna hang down from the inside of the canopy just to sort of make it look a little bit cute. And then I have this, which is another gift from Archie's godmama, Brittany. Oh, this is so pretty. This is also from Numero 74. So I'm gonna get started hanging that up because obviously I'm short of time. I think I wanted to hang the frame up first as opposed to doing the little sign and I'm going to start on the bed side of the room and work my way around with this wall being the last one. It's going to have to go up quite high to look right. So I'm just going to go off the architrave and take a wild one.
Next step is the rug. Yeah, put it this way. show you something. What is it, mommy? Come in here. Whoa, this looks amazing. When did you do it? Uh, today. What do you reckon? Yeah? You like it? Yeah? So you happy? Yeah. yeah, I'm glad. High five. Sick roommate. Okay, so I know I said I was going to do the shelves like the next day, but it's actually been a couple of weeks because I was tossing up whether or not I wanted to put the shelves back on because the wallpaper is just so beautiful and Archie is so stoked with it. But at the same time, I feel like the shelves just added a little bit more to the room just to sort of accent the room and things that he loves that are more like a reflection of him. Don't you think, honey? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Um, James is helping me film today, which is nice. Um, so we are gonna go through and put our shelves back on very quickly. And then we're actually going out today. So I thought I would just run out and the lights that I have for the canopy, I'm just gonna quickly change over to a slightly better light and pop a few more little cushions on his bed and then it's done and dusted. I already just went through with a pencil and managed to find where the little holes were before where we had the shelves on and I've just put some little crosses. So it really should be a really quick process of just drilling it all back in. Originally when we put the shelves on, obviously we were looking for things like wall studs to make the shelves like structurally sound using our levels, but we don't really have to do that so much today because it's already pretty much done for us. Before you came round. So we just assembled books, little accessories here, the toys, and I'm pretty happy with it. What do you think, honey? Looks good. I think it does. I'm glad that we put it back up because even though like it does cover up a little bit of the wallpaper, I feel like the wallpaper is still really obvious. But then like the colours in all of the books just accent it. It's all very archy. So I'm glad. All right, so. I sort of have all of these pillows and things now, but I'm not entirely sure what, how I want to put them on the bed. I sort of have in my mind what I want to do, but I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how I want them to lay out. I have that pillow that way to show off the whale. No, I hate that. Okay. That one there. I'm gonna go one or two. No, I still hate it. I mean, we're coming into summer anyway. This is like a full on down alternative quilt. So he's no, definitely not gonna be using it at all in summer anyway, or spring even. It's hot enough now that you could just go with having a sheet. So maybe I will have that down permanently, have it turned down for him, and then he can always just pull it up when he's feeling like he needs a bit more coverage. Mind you, I doubt he will. Okay. You go in there, whale. And then maybe we'll get his sleeping bag 
I love the tones in his sleeping bag. Like you'll see that it's the navy linen on one side and then on the inside it's got this gingham and on the piping there it's got gingham as well. So I kind of like the way it looks on his bed. I'd like to keep it, but no, I feel like, I feel like it works. I think we're done. Okay, so there you have it. That is Archie's completed room. Um, I'll just go through quickly now and just give you guys a little bit of an overview as to where everything is and what it is if I haven't mentioned it already. As you can see, we've still got the bunting, the um, Gemini sign and the Archie Bear poster up on the wall. I did end up being quite happy with the placement of all of that. Then down here we have his bed which I just started up this morning. I'm still not feeling 100% about it. I feel like we might change this white sheet here to like maybe like a stripe, like kind of like what I'm wearing, but maybe something more gray and white toned. I don't know, I'll see what I can find, but I feel like just adding in a bit of a pattern sheet that might make the bed just like a little bit more inviting and cozy. Then over here we have his little bedside table in here we've got all of his little trinkets and collectibles and things. This basket is from Oliella. It reminds me of the kind of basket like Peter Rabbit or a little adventurer or a little messenger boy would wear. And then he's just got a little book beside his bed. That's actually Louis's book. He's got this little ball, which he got for his birthday. It's actually a nightlight. It projects like a star um, galaxy up onto the ceiling. Then we have over here, as I mentioned, the little round velvet poof, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then on top of that, we've got the linen canopy. I still haven't put the twinkle lights up yet because the ones that I bought were just like a little bit small. And I know that they have other ones, but when I went into the store the other day, they didn't have them. So I need to add those. And then we've got his wall, which I'm still so, so obsessed with. And it's still looking absolutely perfect. Like not a bubble. It made me want to do the rest of the house. Okay, if you have gotten this far in the video, thank you so much for sticking around. Um, I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit me up in the comments. I've been really, really enjoying interacting with you guys and just keeping up to date with everything that's going on in you guys' life. All of the positive feedback and everything that I've been getting from you guys has been really, really overwhelming and very, very motivating to keep these videos up. So thank you so much. If you want any of the links to any of the things that I showed you guys in today's video, whether it's Archie's Oliella basket, his star map, um, the numero 74 items, his little Gemini sign, or most importantly, the wallpaper, um, I will make sure to have all of those links down in the description box below. Honestly, if you were ever after a wallpaper, custom wallpapers is your way to go. I swear this is not a sponsored video. They have not paid me to say this. The wallpaper quality has been so phenomenal. Like in the last couple of months since we've had it up, we've had absolutely no bubbling. Like it really stuck in really well. It hasn't stained or discolored. Um, it's just perfect. I am so, so happy with the way that it looks. I'm so, so happy with the way that they communicated with us to make sure that we were getting exactly what we wanted. Um, and it's such an easy, easy process to do. Like you just go online, upload literally whatever you want, whether it's a pattern that you find online or a picture of your own face, or even like a solid color if you're in a rental and don't want to paint and they will just get back to you to make sure that what you've uploaded is exactly what you do want print it, either send it out to you or have someone come out and then, you know, you whack it on. And even though I was concerned that maybe because it is technically like a wallpaper, it would be quite difficult, but because it has that adhesive back and it's this strong, strong fabric type material, it really was so easy to put on. He put it on so quickly. He gave me a turn and showed me exactly how to smooth it all out. And it was fairly, fairly simple. Like I feel like it's something that anybody could do. So like I said, if you're after something that is like strong, durable, well-priced, looks great, then make sure to go and hit up that link. And other than that, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.